Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 1 from Working with Health IT Systems. So let's finish out that scavenger hunt here. As I just said in the prior video, we needed to find out what was the highest temperature that Mr. 8 ever had in a two-year period. There are many different ways that you can get to this data, so there is no one right way. There is a generally most efficient way, but then again, you really shouldn't be judging. The way I do it is the most efficient for the way I think, and maybe the way you do it is the most efficient way for your particular action. I will just tell you, there are numerous ways to do this, and as you get more experience with the system, you figure out what works best for you and what is most efficient. I want to find out in the last two years, well, let's try this. Let's double click on temperature and see what pulls up. Oh, okay, so here we go but it only shows the temperature at one point in time. And why is that? Because look at the date range that has been set up here. So the question was, in the last two years, what was his highest temperature? I will say two years, and oh, look at that. Displays all of his vital signs, and it plots his temperatures for me. The answer here is 99.2. That's the highest temperature that he's had. And maybe it wasn't exactly, no, it was about two years. It's about as far back as his data goes. So there are different ways that you can also capture this. Probably the best way to do this is to do a print screen. If you look on your keyboard on the upper right hand side, there is usually a button. Sometimes it's a function print screen. Mine just says print screen. So I'm going to push my print screen button. I'm going to open back up my document one. Remember where I had the chocolate allergy reaction? and place my cursor in the Word document. And I can right-click and just say Paste. And what it will do, see, it pastes the picture right in here for me. I can turn that in as proof of my homework. So let me minimize Microsoft Word. Get rid of that again. And here I am back in CPRS. So I've gotten that answer. I'm going to close this dialog box. The next question that I have been asked is, what was the date of the onset of Mr. A's hypertension? Again, many ways to get that. I could click in problems because that is a problem, a medical problem. But I don't see hypertension. And why is that? It's because we're only showing inactive problems. Let's go to active problems. Here's hypertension, April 7, 2005. There's the answer. Again, you can either highlight it and you can highlight it and do a control C, control V, or you could, again, do print screen. So I'm just going to do print screen and open up Microsoft again and do a control V, or you could choose paste. And there is part of my homework assignment. The next thing I've been asked to look for is how many refills are remaining on this patient's prescription of metformin HCL. I could go back to the cover sheet and I could say, well, that's not the medication he asked for. Where might that be? Well, let's go down and look in meds. Here we go. Metformin. How many refills are left on this? Zero. Again, print screen, open up Microsoft Word, paste or control V. They both do the same thing. So the last thing you're going to be looking for on this scavenger hunt is you've been asked to find the creatinine value for patient eight on the date of November 10th, 2008. I could come back here to the cover sheet and sort of go through and say, well, gee, there's a creatinine value, but it's March 5th, and this is sort of nightmarish. You can do it, but it may not be the most efficient. I'm going to show you the way I do it, maybe more efficient. Go to the Labs tab, and we could do all tests by date, but then you'd end up with all these tests you'd have to go through again. Let me show you another feature. You just say, Selected Tests by Date and I'm looking for a creatinine value. Going to pick a date range, and I'm going to choose 11, 10, 08. I'm going to do it again and see what I come up with. Here we go. So now we know his creatinine value on the 10th of November in 2008 was 1.2. You could highlight this, you could copy it, open up Word, and then you can paste it. Right-click and paste. Again, 
the control C and the control V all work as well the same way. There, what you've done now is your whole sheet of homework, and you've finished the scavenger hunt. Let me just tell you that just as an FYI, you should always remember that we are just working with bogus data in a lab experience, but you would never want to cut and paste or copy patients' data onto a piece of paper and take it out of the facility. That's a violation. I just want you to understand that we are doing this cutting and pasting just as a laboratory experience. This is not good practice when you're actually working with a PHI or personally identifiable health information. And with that, you've really finished the scavenger hunt. And remember, there are many, many ways to get the same data. Over time, you'll learn how to do it in the most efficient way.